Okay, folks, we are again on session number two for Sunday. And pick up about where we left off. I did a little bit of stuff, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a chance to get back on or not. So I really want to finish this guy, and then we'll be going to spray him, and this will be the Dracula's command stand here. here or we can get to it all right so we have uh, the shield done uh, the main color of the rider we need straps saddle uh, lance um, strappings not it sounds like a lot of stuff but it's not really that long of a list. I'm going to go ahead and do his sash since we decided we were going to do um, we were going to do in white. Let's just go ahead and just get it over with and do that. And uh, the guys we based this morning, they're already they're already um, they're already set here. So at some point they're going to um, get primed. That's an extra epoxy up here that didn't need to be. I don't want to touch the stuff that's really close to his hand because that just helps grip it. Now this is the these two riders and the general. Make sure they're going to go like this. This is the Moldavian command, which this will be a nightstand. These guys have full plate on, and um, they're actually some pretty decent figures. Horses are kind of a little static-like. All three of them are different, they're slightly different from each other. And uh, one thing we did do is we did make the flags for both of these, um, both of these folks. And uh, I'm not sure I can show them to you. I, I'm not good at these flipping between things. Let me give it a shot. How about how about I try to give it a shot? You guys okay with that? Let's um, let's add let's add an image. Add source. Cancel. All right, let's try it again. Let's add general sources. Uh, it should be image. Add image to your scene. Okay. Let's back this up and uh, let's call this one the Lockian Banner. Ah, oh, come on. Lock in banner. Okay. Right. Now we're going to browse for it and find it here. And this is just an image that I found on the internet. Should be here. And 
and it's not where I expected it to be. How come they're not here? Is it a format that I can't display it? Let's try it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a format I can't. Let me minimize a couple things here. Let's minimize this. Let's minimize that. I know I modified them, but I modified in a sketchbook thing. They're right here. What format is this? Okay, I'll right click. What format is this? Oh, I hate computer stuff. I really hate computer stuff. Did I mention that I hated computer stuff? Let's see if I can save this as a, which is the one that's a PNG? I probably need to do this anyways. Yeah, it's saved it in the wrong damn place here. Okay, let's try that. No. Do you want to replace it? No. PNG. Save. Some things are easier to do on your phone, and this happens to be one of them. All right, so I saved it in another format. Um, then we're going to close this. All right, then we're going to... Um, open with photos. Then we're going to save as the same name, but we want to save it as a PNG. It's probably what it is. It's a format that that program can't open it as. All right, I'm going to close this now. I'm going to close this now. All right, we're going to open this back up. All right, now let's try it now. Why can't I edit this? Undo create, okay, now let's create this. All right, image. Okay, that's what it is. I couldn't put it in a TFF. All right, add the source. New source instead. Valakian banner. It's really Dracula's banner. Okay, add source. Now it's going to ask me where the image is. Now it should be here now. The modified image. There it is. Done.
but I don't know where the hell it put it. I hate computers. I hate freaking computers. What if I put it back here? Well, I've added the banner. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. It's on here, but I can't find it. Okay, hell with that then. You guys didn't come here for a computer show anyways. And that's the kind of stuff that'll piss me off. I don't get pissed off painting, but dealing with computer stuff makes me wish it were never invented. You guys see the banner when it's on the figure. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of it. Love the Eastern Shield on the models. Yeah, you like that, huh? This guy's just kind of a generic guy, so not too exciting about this one, but I don't want this guy to outshine the other folks. Um, yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and do his, um, his mustache. I can't stand computer issues. They drive me bananas. But anyways, I did do the banners of the other, of these two. I did this banner and then the one for the uh, for the uh, Moldavians, which is just taking an image on the internet and then getting it into the paint program and do some highlighting, just like if I was painting it by by hand. Um, it's relatively easy, but just showing it to you is a pain in the ass because I apparently can't do it. I don't have the skill set for that, so. You'll have to tune into someone. I've tried watching videos and stuff, but those guys just go way too fast. Way, way, way too fast. Start clicking on shit, you know, and I can't follow, follow them. And... All right, so this guy's going to need some straps on a horse. That's kind of a relatively dark horse. So the other guy we used like a... Not quite gray. Let's use a gray gray, one that has a little bit of blue in it. Should be all right. All right, I, I can't give up. All right, why isn't this? Okay, there's the webcam, got it. It's here, I can even make it bigger. Hello, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. Let's make it, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's put it down here and let's, uh, let's hide it. All right, and this is the Samsung camera, got it. And in the background, I'm just gonna hide the background. 
which you can't see anyways. Um, Samsung camera. What if I made this smaller? Won't allow me. Okay, I have to unlock it. Now make it smaller, all right? Now, here's the background, okay? What about this banner? I need to see it, all right. Let's do the Samsung camera. Let's make it invisible. All right, where is this? All right, let me copy, invert selection, transform, group, hide, no, remove properties. What are the properties of this thing? Okay. Let's try this again. This is really cool. I want you guys to see this. There we go. I think you guys can see that now. I did the same thing before. Let me know if you guys see that banner. Uh, actually, I can go to the other side. And... Uh, come on, multiple windows, go live. Let's go here. Let's go here. <laughs> Holy cow, this takes forever. There we go. Jesus. Normally I have the, the two screens so I can flip between the YouTube that I can see. And uh, very well, yeah, kind of. The dragon is a little bit different. Um, Yep, yep, there it is. So this is just a regular image that uh, I added the shading to it. And of course, it's it's blown up massively. Um, this is what the flag's gonna be. So what I, norm what I normally do is uh, I'll take something like this and I will put it on an Excel spreadsheet. And I like to use Excel because I'm, it's the one I'm the most familiar with. And also I like to, uh, you can size it easy. So I'll take one and then flip one and put it side by side, and that way I can, I can, um, I I can um, when I print it, one of those things you don't know how big it's going to print until you print it. So you, I just make it multiple sizes and then print it, and then you know you get what you get. So that's one of them. Whew. I'm telling you, if you give up on this stuff, you're never going to accomplish anything. And uh, all right, now let's see if I can do this properly. Let's nope, can't do that properly either. Come on. Why can't it why can't it be smaller? Holy Christ. All right. All right, so let's hide that one. Okay? We're going to hide that image and now we're going to create another image. Okay, image and I'll show you the one for the Moldavians. Okay? We're going to add a source. Add a new source instead. Go here to the image, add source, cancel. All right, once again, let's try it. Plus, image, add source, add new source instead, add source, browse, You nerd burglars like this computer stuff, you need to be put in an insane asylum. Okay, yet that one's small in the corner. I don't understand why it is. Now we're gonna make, can we make this one bigger? There we go, so here's the Moldavian one. I think you guys can see that. I'll go over to the screen here. And uh, I've got a little bit of a delay on it, but that should be the Moldavian one. But yeah, 
there it is small and it'll go big again so I did the same thing it's just an image and and it just tinkered with it and I drew on it just like if it was if I was painting it it looks kind of crude with the colors but it needs to be that much of a color difference so that when it prints you have to have that much of a light between the light and the dark or the printer is not going to pick it up and it actually might not end up being enough contrast as it is you just have to see you just have to print and and and, and just hope for the best but uh, i use a program called sketchbook it's free um and my computer also doubles as a um as a pad it's a note what the hell is it? It's a note two or a book two. Anyhow, so I have a pen and that doesn't take very long. It doesn't take very long. So, um, yeah. So there you have it. We'll see. That's that's what's going to go on the banner of the of each of the commands. So thanks for bearing with me while I figured out how to freaking put that stuff up there. So, um, well, now I should be able to do, okay, I should be able to take this. Well, if it allows me to do it, if it pleases the crown, <laughs> my favorite sayings, <laughs> if it pleases the crown, let's put him up in the corner. Let's put the webcam back up. Okay. Let's put the Samsung camera back up. Make it big. There we go. That's, this is what I wanted to do all along. Okay, now, let's see if we can get cocky. Let's see if we can get cocky with this. This is what I wanted to do all along, what I'm doing right now. No, nope, not that one. And let's lock that bitch. Okay, this one's unlocked. I know what to do. They just, they don't make the programs right. <laughs> it just shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> it shouldn't be that freaking difficult. <laughs> Damn Nerdenheimers. Okay. There you have it. Whew. Let's go to the other screen and yeah, it's getting moved over there. Okay, perfect. All right, now we can start our painting. Whew. Yeah, so I think what I need to do is I need to make the flag first, and then I'll have a little banner to put in the corner while I'm working on the project. So, yeah, they look cute. Yeah, the black one, I didn't want to do too much of the highlighting on it and then end up looking super gray. But I think that the Moldavian one's going to look really nice. So, Okay. Is everything locked in place? Let's lock that web webcam. Let's lock this too. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now we can start. Welcome, folks. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. This, this thing is super soaked. And this is still crinkling for some reason. Right. Anyhow.
I needed to do that anyways because I got to print them up soon. So. We have them ready to print out tomorrow. And it doesn't look like these guys are going to get played tomorrow because I don't want to play them without the camp. And I don't want to rush things and do a crap job. So they can wait. can wait I need to sh save them as PNGs anyways That's what somebody told me and I think I've experienced it myself by trying to print something is if I save it as a JPEG it's a lot smaller file and it doesn't have as good as resolution on the printer. So you wanted a PNG. And um, and that happened to the Scottish banner, the banner that I had for um, uh, Edward, Edward the Bruce. I printed it and I mean, it was beautiful on the painting program. I mean, I was really proud of it and I went and printed it out and it looked like crap. And I'm like, what happened here? And um, after doing some searching, I'd saved it as a JPEG and it just, all the details got dumbed down. It got sent to the printer and dumbed down. So I had to save it again as a PNG, then send it to the printer and then it was close to what I was seeing. But there's no point in painting something really nice and then when you go to print it out, it looks ridiculously miserable. So. And this program is different than the one I was using before. I was not using um, Streamlabs. I was using um, OBS. And OBS just doesn't, it does, it's not as stable. It, not as stable for me. I didn't want to change it, you know? I mean, there's no reason to change stuff. I mean, unless it doesn't work. And I would hand paint those banners, except they're double-sided. So I'd have to do the back side to look the same or close. And that's just a lot of work. So here I'll just flip the image, which should be easier than it is to do. But that dragon banner, that is Dracula's personal banner. Or so I've read. So that's why we chose that one. Anywho.
Okay. We got some part of a saddle showing. So let's go to that. I think the color they call saddle brown would be just fine. I don't always use it for that, but I think the saddle brown should be okay. this thing open <laughs> yeah and I'm going with their suggestions on the banners because I personally would have done jeez okay now you're just being a dick um, I personally would have done the, um, the moon, the star, the moon and the crest, uh, the star, the moon and the flower in three, in some different colors, you know, make all those three white or something like that, but that's not what the banner shows. So that's not what the banner shows. You kind of have to go with, sometimes I modify things, but didn't feel like I needed to do it this time seem reasonable Let's lighten this thing up a little bit. It's right here. Let's lighten it up um, a little more. So I should be able to use, now that i figured out how to do that, if I do that enough, show you guys pictures, and I like to do that from time to time, I'll, uh, I'll do that format of doing it, I'm not switching between pages and stuff, because I don't have any practice doing that. All right, boots.
Oh, we said we were going to do the, uh, the sash and white. Let's freaking do that. I need more. Speaking of white, we need more white on there. It already dried out. <laughs> Looks Masonic Lodge emblem. Which one? The top one? Oh no, that's was Dracula and Mason. Secret handshake. The secret impalement. <laughs> I don't know jack shit about the Masons. The top one? Uh oh. That kind of looks like a satanic kind of symbol with the bull. <laughs> Just saying. I got one person that I know who claims he's a Mason. I don't know anything about him. I know lots of famous people with him. I don't know jack shit about him. So. If they're right wing or left wing or has nothing to do with it or not something I'm particularly interested in. Okay. This guy's definitely influenced by the Ottomans. You don't either. Okay, that's good. I'm not interested in being involved in anything that could potentially manipulate other people. That's just, <laughs> I'm not interested. Oh, here's the, as I, as I said on the video, those goddamn Russians. <laughs> oh, the goddamn Russians. We're just going to remove this a little quicker to come back as somebody else anyways. All right. All right, cockroaches. Hey, and you're, if you're watching, you're from Russia. It's not you, man. It's your government. You don't get to pick where you're hatched.
I get it. My dad was an immigrant from a country that went to shit, so I get it. Luckily, I was born here. Let's use this for the the rings, huh? Yeah, I don't think there would be much place for me in the Masons. I'm, um, I'm basically against anything, not necessarily that they're nefarious, but too difficult to have secret this and secret that. Just be who you are. I don't want to hide who I am. I don't want to pretend somebody I'm not. You like me or you don't. And I don't care if you like me. <laughs> I'm just too difficult to pretend to be something that you're not. You know? You meet me in person, I'm gonna be probably the same the same person that you're used to dealing with. Or seeing live. Too difficult to be any other way. I've gamed with people before that they act a certain way, and when their wife's around, they turn into a different person. I just, I think that's just disingenuous, you know? It's too difficult. Life's too complicated. All right, this guy is um, going to need a, finally I feel the coffee kicking in. I've been kind of groggy-ish all day, and it's for no other, I don't know why. And I'm, like being empowered by the energy of creativity. you up there then you're gonna be like that you're gonna misbehave too yellow what color is this other one it's about the same as this Sure, we don't have any issues here. Uh oh, what's this? Ah, fake text. I love it when you get tech fake text from people. Yeah. 
Due to recent activities, a hold has been put on your on your account. Well, that's funny. That's from somebody I don't do any business with. <laughs> I'm not clicking on your link. <laughs> you think I'm a moron? Nope, not going to go there. Oh, the nefarious, there's no end to the, the nefarious people. They're just like belt fed. You just come in, you get one, you get 12. What was the name of that guy in the Despicable Bee? Dr. Nefario. Dr. Nefario strikes again. Give this a little bit of a lighter color. For those of you just joining, happy Sunday or what's left of it. You guys actually might actually be in a Monday, some of you.
the bad news is there's a chance we have we're out of cold weather for the rest of the year. Well, it wasn't too hot today. Well, here it says it's 82. Doesn't feel like 82. It's actually okay. As long as you're in the shade, it's not too bad. As long as the nights keep getting cool, I'm good. It says nights that are like 85 degrees are just miserable. So, ready for that time change so we can have some. You don't get home from work and you feel extra exhausted because everything's dark. All right, this guy has kind of an underskirt on. We'll do that in white. I mean, he's relatively dark, so you can brighten him up by adding these other things on here. Now some boots for this guy. <laughs> I can have all the coffee in the world, still find a way to yawn. I'll break back. I need to get a refill on some beverages.
Okay. Back again with the banners. Mm -hmm. We don't have a whole lot left on this guy, but... Boots. Probably relatively light colored. What's this color over here? Too light. Way too light. Way, way, way too light. How about if we use this as a base? I think this would be about right. One viewer, one dedicated viewer. Thanks for hanging with me. Assuming you didn't fall asleep. All right. Not as much fun as painting the shields, but it's what I got to do next, so. I would love to have nothing but never ending shield paintings. You got to paint some crappy stuff to paint the fun stuff, so. At least I don't have to paint too many figures the same. paint too much of an army, too many figures in an army, before I can go in a different direction. Be like, man, I'm tired of painting guys that are uniformed, Romans or something like that. Let me go paint feudal guys. So each one's separate. Everybody's different. Except maybe the infantry sometimes, if they're recruited from a town or whatever. Give everybody shields. It all looks the same. back up to four. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back. All right. We've got to do some kind of a... a brighter color. What do we got over here in this... this zone? One of these will probably work just fine. Bombarded with a bunch of stuff. Always watching. Good job, as always. There he is. 
Larshan, are you still in uh, Ireland, or did you move back home? I hope for your sake you, you're still in Ireland. You, uh, otherwise, you got front row tickets to a soup sandwich. Move, nonconformist. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't consider myself a nonconformist. I don't know if that was in reference to it. I don't consider myself a nonconformist. As long as the country start doesn't start getting weird. You know, I consider myself a... What would I consider myself? I have to label myself. Traditional, traditionalist libertarian. Uh, conservative libertarian. Yeah, I want people to do whatever the hell they do, you know. Everybody should know how to behave, you know? I, I don't want to control people. Do whatever you want. Just don't tell me what to do. And none of this woke crap. I don't like that. I don't like this woke crap. But other than that, people should be able to do whatever the hell they want to. If that makes me a bad guy, well then, hell with you. <laughs> In Poland since July. Man, be safe, my friend. I hope we don't have to call on the polls to save Europe again. I don't know what's going on. I'd rather not know. I'm here in my little fantasy world. I've heard all kinds of stuff. Stuff you hear on the news, conspiracy stuff. I don't I don't I don't believe any of it. I I don't know. I can't watch the news. Uh, everything's suspect. The last 15 years has told us that, you know, you could watch footage, and it's the wrong footage. Um, you know, and you hear everything from uh, to the Illuminati are behind it, to Putin is a hero, to <laughs> crazy shit. I, I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody. Uh, that's the problem. Is, is I'm I'm kind of an honest person. I just say think I see th I say things as I see them. But I guess I'm alone in this world. There's not very many of us, you know. It's just too difficult. Not the first time. Not the first time that they've saved Europe. Yeah. Well, we saved the Mediterranean, or at least the north half. <laughs> From the Turks. <laughs> And been bankrupt in doing so. And uh, <laughs> you kind of guys did the same thing. You saved Europe from the Turks and then got squashed between uh, people. So, oh well, be safe, my friend. Got polls coming soon. I mean, you saw those unboxings, man. We got, um, well, we got to finish these guys. These guys are almost done. We got to do the Moldavian command stand. And then we're going to do some polls, man. All the Polish people will be happy. Yeah, we're going to do them. We're going to make them look cool. Which actually the Poles, according to the Book of Barker, are allies of the Moldavians, not these, not these folks. Um, these guys have the Hungarian allies when they're not fighting them or... This guy made a lot of enemies. <laughs> Vlad made a lot of enemies. Um, I don't think one thing that helped is he was Orthodox and he was squished in between the the Muslims and the Catholics. So, um, anyhow, really convoluted history. And Russia in 1920. Yep. God, I hate communists. And the Poles don't either. The Poles don't like them. Hey, you got front row tickets to that, so. Oh, well. Stay safe, my friend. Move to Florida. <laughs> we can use you here. Uh, easier said than done.
Okay, you got horse hair. I think we need to get away from having black horse hair. It can still be dark. It just needs to be um, just something a little different. So not everybody's the same way. Typical, 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 typical. Sat here a long time. I was thinking about that. I think the USA is a very crazy country right now. Yeah, I think every country is crazy. This is this country isn't what it used to be. I'll tell you that. I think there's a lot of people that thought the country was a certain way, and then stuff happened in the last two years. And political correctness. Yeah, political correctness is just stupid. It's just some people just have a hard on for apologizing for shit that's not even their fault. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not apologizing for stuff my ancestors did. My ancestors weren't nice folks, but neither were the people they were fighting. You know? So... Some people just feel like they got to apologize for stuff. I mean, they're not even responsible for it. Man. People want to get offended by stuff. I'm offended by people that are offended by everything. You know? I can make my own enemies. I don't need any help. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. get that time machine once I find out uh, and you get some of that unobtainium and get a time machine we'll go back to about 1980 <laughs> oh man let's go ahead cover all this horse hair in black even though we're going to go over that let's give it a good coating of that so we don't have any spots there that are missing this um this uh, viejo stuff is really nice and you get in most of the cracks but you still you know invariably you end up missing a few it's just going to happen so History from Facebook. I don't get into discussions from Facebook. I made a post on Facebook about something. And usually what I do is I'll go to somebody. If I see somebody that, it, that posts something that I kind of agree with it, I don't go and say, hey, you know, you're wrong. I go, yeah, I agree with that too. You know, I'm friendly, you know. And 
I forget what it was, a couple days, some guy came out with something crazy. Some kind of crazy response trying to bait me. I don't get baited into it. I just, I don't even respond to them. I just uh, block them. I'll never hear from them again. You're dead to me, pal. Something crazy like. Something along the lines of. You can't say what Russia's doing is bad. Here's a list of all the places that the U.S. has bombed since World War II. And I don't necessarily agree with all this stuff, but, you know, if we're an evil power, now there might be some people that are significantly corrupt in our government, but if we're, if we're an evil power, we'd do a really shitty job of doing it because we'd give things back to people. You know, that's... <laughs> we, <laughs> we shouldn't be in wars because all we do is give things back to people, so... You know, that doesn't make any sense, right? We're this aggressor, but we're dumb and we give things back to folks. <laughs> but this place isn't perfect, but you can't compare. Uh, there's, there's things that just can't be compared to, you know. Facebook to watch your work and not only yeah I can't film on Facebook anymore because I'm limited by the resolution um, and there's a lot of people that don't want to use Facebook so they're not you know I'm not going to be able to I, I prefer YouTube I really do but if you go to some of the, like the news coverage these days on YouTube I try to find some news coverage or or some footage. I think yesterday I wanted to see some footage of some vehicles or whatever. I didn't want to see any carnage. I'm still kind of bummed out about the whole thing, but I wanted to see some knocked out Russian vehicles. Or no matter what side you're, you see the fighting, you're going to have knocked out Russian vehicles because both sides use Russian stuff. And I saw that. And the post, the post along with it, just the these live feeds are just ridiculous. You know, people that are posting that don't even know what's we don't know what's going on. We're just we we just know what's being sent to us and people that post it. Nefarious up the nefarious stuff. You block folks on Facebook that make no sense. I do too. They don't deserve a response. And I'm extremely positive. You know, I I use Facebook. Facebook's great for our hobby. And I don't need to know how people feel about their politics. You know, I mean, if you're a communist. And you're a great painter. Just please don't tell me you're a communist, because then we can't be friends. You know, <laughs> just you know, and the other ists as well. You know, um, there's uh, just other ists that we can all agree as civilized people that shouldn't be allowed to exist. You know, we've already fought a world war against those guys. Nobody, you know. Oh, here we go. I'll make this. Hello, Tony. Everyone. The U.S. is not perfect, but evil, no way. Yeah, we're not perfect. But, you know, corrupted, corrupted people are... The, the problem is there's a lot of people that are willing to accept corruption. I'm not. You know, if I find out somebody's corrupt, I don't care if they're telling me what I want to hear. I'm against them, you know, because I'm not corrupt. I don't, you know... You shouldn't, you shouldn't do whatever just to make a dollar. You just shouldn't, you know. Uh, I am not... Like the Venetians, the Venetians would freaking deal, make a deal with the freaking devil, and just to make a profit. And I just don't need money that bad. It doesn't mean I'm anti-money. I'm just saying that you can't sell your you can't sell yourself for money. So I'm anti-corruption, no matter where it is, no matter who's doing it. Um. What's your question? I guess we're going to have a political one. You know, I'm not, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. And we only know what, uh, Marco, welcome. Um, I had Greek food yesterday, Marco. It was wonderful. I even had Greek beer and it wasn't bad. Uh, 
wasn't wasn't bad. It's better than Italian beer. Italians don't know what the hell they're doing with beer. <laughs> hey, not every country is good at every single thing that they manufacture. So, do I see a parallel between what's going on in the Ukraine and what's happening? Th- I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I've heard some ridiculous. I'm going to call them ridiculous because they just seem really far fetched. I hope they're not true because it just seems extremely convoluted uh, conspiracy theories. But um, you know, it's Facebook or Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't follow anybody. There's tons. Welcome, Ben. There's tons of knocked out Rusky vehicle seen on video. You need to watch the video of Ukrainian farmers joyriding the captured BMP. Anyone who says they know what's going on is lying or foolish. Absolutely, Marco. We don't know. I feel current affairs on Facebook is worthless, but it's great for our hobby. It is great for our hobby. Yeah. I'm a little bit more upbeat now, but a couple days ago when it happened. um... I'm just, I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not angry. I don't know who to be angry at. Um, I just have little faith in people. You know. Um, and I've, I've heard some crazy conspiracy theories that I can't believe because it would just be too upside down but I don't know and I'm glad I just never bought any Russian ammo let's put it that way I never bought steel ammo I've heard every conspiracy from they're actually the good guys and I mean just insane stuff which you know I mean who knows in 200 years it, you know it may be true it seems extremely far fetched uh, when something is extremely far fetched I just you know it's like aliens do you believe in aliens I don't show me a freaking alien and then maybe we'll talk but I'm just uh, I'm not going to uh, just believe in things that are you know been expecting this for a while and I'm in disbelief that it's happening. I don't know. It's just... I hope it just... I hope it ends quick. I hope it ends quick. I, I, and I'm, I'm disappointed because there's not really a solution forward. Um, there's not really a solution forward. The solution was to not have it happen. Now that it's happened, I don't know that there's a... I don't know that there's a solution forward. I don't have any confidence that the people that are in position to make decisions to event, avoid really bad things happening are competent or not corrupt enough to not make the wrong decisions. I just, I'm just really disappointed, you know. I'm... Madman's head, everything always. Madman's head, everything always looks good. Yeah. But I don't see the parallels between 38 and 39 because this is 38, 39 is really cut and dry. This is, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not, uh, I know this one guy who is just in panic mode. He's been in panic mode for like three years, you know, with the COVID and I haven't panicked about anything, you know, um, the COVID thing was a disbelief 
on a different level than this. Um, so. I just hope that um, when somebody gets asked to do something unreasonable, their common sense prevails and they say, no, we're not going to do that. You corrupt bastard, we're not going to do it. That's the wrong thing to do. And if enough people do that, we'll be okay. So blindly following orders is not the way forward. Get out of my head. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know this guy. He hasn't left the house or anything since the COVID thing. And he's, you know. You know, you got crazy shit that you hear. Like, you know, I, I saw the, the other day, this one particular person. I'm not going to give him any, any credit to who it is, but this one person said that, you know, uh, I was told they said this, so take that for what it's worth. That I hope this current situation doesn't uh, doesn't keep us from forgetting about global warming. I said, I got news for you. This current situation, who gives a fuck about global warming? Okay, this is this is serious stuff. You know, there won't be any global to worry about warming if you don't have this under control. So, you know, global warming and, and woke stuff, that's all stuff that we worry about when you got nothing on your plate and everything is freaking running smooth. But these days, cooler heads better prevail. That's, that's all I'm saying. Hopefully, we can sink something comfortably into a new Cold War, have a common enemy in the Russians, and the wake up as an essential threat in Russia and China. Yeah, we need, we need to unite, man. The 9-11 the put us all together, for better or for worse. Uh, COVID split, I mean, split us up completely. I mean, COVID was like, we all wanted to fight each other. You had a bunch of... You ever watch that old show, Bewitched? Everybody was like a Gladys Kravitz wanting to report on people and stuff like that. We need, we need something to be, you know, to keep all the normal people together or around the world, you know. Yeah, no kidding, Nordic. Yeah, who cares about that stuff, man? That's that's like the biggest. And I think, and you know, I hadn't thought about that stuff and probably since, well, since Gorbachev, you know? So that's the worst thing that's ever been invented is nuclear weapons. The worst thing that's ever been invented. I know hindsight 2020, right? But all bets are off with those things. But, you know, if Ukraine had not. So supposedly, they turned all their weapons, their nuclear weapons, into the Russians when they separated. Supposedly, what if they hadn't, and they get pushed into a corner? It's probably a good thing they don't have any, because you know, you don't want to back somebody into a corner that has nuclear weapons, because you never know what they're going to do, you know. So, oh well. I hope everybody stays safe and. Yeah, I can't trust anything. Have you seen those reports of the some ace that shoots down a bunch of planes and stuff like that? I don't believe it. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't believe it. I mean, it, it, it's sad that you know I'm, I'm a skeptic about everything, but you know, the last fifteen years, 
especially the last 10, have just been an absurd truckload of lies that have been spilled by everybody in every direction. And, you know, it's kind of, it's difficult to be happy about anything because you could have a false happy, you know, be like, oh man, that's great that that happened, but did it really happen? You know? Finished all your 28 millimeter miniatures. I'm going to place an order for some JHQ micro armor from Poland, 1939, France, 1940, and the Winter War. Well, the good thing about the Winter War is you just, all you need is Soviet vehicles. And the Fens will eventually capture some of them. <laughs> um, yeah, just imagine how a place like freaking Finland is feeling right now, or those Baltic countries. Okay, this guy needs socks. Right. So we're going to find the brown that we used, which is over here. It's this um, almost like a cork brown. I cut a color. It's called cork brown. It's very similar to this. And, of course, I cleaned my work area up, so it's not here anymore. It's, it's here. Not everyone was affected like that by COVID, but change enough in the busy bodies to make most people uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, they did some kind of a mask lift, and I go to the store just a few hours ago, and half the people are wearing them. I mean, it's just, we're half, more than half the people, we're living in different worlds, you know? We're, we're surrounded, and we're just living in different worlds. Um, oh, well. And they're just... I just feel like there's just people that are making decisions. I just don't have trust in people that are our leaders to make decisions that make sense, you know? Um, you know, they don't want to get, they don't want to get gas from the United States. They want to get it from other places. Well, you know, you're going to have to get it from somewhere. And if it's bad for the earth, wouldn't it be better to, just get the gas from here because you know, I mean, accidents are going to happen, okay? I mean, we're human, unfortunately, but you know we're going to take care of the environment better than freaking someplace in Russia, you know, where they're just going to, you know, who knows what kind of methods they're going to use to seal up the freaking thing if it, if it catches on fire, you know? Definitely not an environmental thing, so it's like, you know, this should be a curtain call that we all need to be independent from each other. Countries should, should be self-sufficient so that you don't have to make the wrong decision dealing with people that maybe you don't need to deal with. But taking that off the table just seems senile. But then I'm looking at it from a standpoint of someone who's not corruptible. So, who knows? Um, but I haven't listened to the news in over a decade. You know, once they cried wolf one too many times. So... Got that right. I'm more drawn to early years of World War II for war gaming and history's sake. The only thing I don't like about early World War II is, remember, early World War II is focused mainly on the Germans. I don't like those damn panzers without the turret basket in the back. I like the German panzers in gray, you know, to paint them and stuff like that. Um, I just, I don't like, I don't like the Polish campaign where they used white crosses. It just seems weird. Um, I don't care if they really did it. It just seems weird. Um, and I don't like, like the Panzer 4Ds with no turret basket. They just look like a bald baby, you know? It just looks strange, you know? 
Um, but yeah, the French vehicles are cool. Um, I did World War II. My favorite theaters were the Desert and Barbarossa. That's the stuff. Eh. Take it or leave it. Oh, do we have another interloper? No, you're not. I thought it was a small one. Sadad, welcome. Welcome back. Those white crosses only served as a target point for the Polish troops. I agree. I think my interest in early parts of the war stems from playing Flames of War and being forced to do late war only. You know, um, I do like the early war U.S. stuff with the yellow, with the yellow stars and stuff because it's different. It's kind of unique. Um, not that I have any of them, but um, that stuff's okay. You know, Tunisia is kind of interesting. You've got the different nations involved in that, but. I tend to like the war gaming period where it's not all one sided. So, in other words, both sides can have air support, both sides are, you know, have a reasonable chance of winning one or the other, you know. Um, so. I like 41 and 42 for a war, war gaming standpoint. And we're only talking about war gaming standpoint. We don't, we don't really like wars. Okay, but, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever had, well, certainly not you guys, because you guys get it. You're war gamers as well. But I've never had somebody on the street saying, well, why are you so interested in a war? Because my immediate reaction would be, well, why do people watch horror movies and see, you know, um, uh, innocent pretty girls killed? Or do you want to murder innocent pretty girls? No, it's just, it's it's a, it's a kind of a morbid fascination type thing. You know, you guys, I don't have to explain it to you. You, you, you know for the same reason. Um, you're doing it for the same reason. Plus there's, you know, modeling and aspect and that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, it's the same thing, you know, just because you watch horror movies. I don't watch horror movies, but um, I don't think that if you watch horror movies, you want to murder people. Well, or do you? Um... But, uh, yeah, it's the same thing, you know. Da -da 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 -da. Martian, it's time for me. Thanks for the painting. Nice company. Good night, lads. Be safe, Martian. Uh, working your way up to the western desert in Barbarossa, I decided to start with France 1940, do the early periods first. Well, the French vehicles are... They have some interesting markings because they have those playing cards. And I symbols and I think that actually works um, it works you know been a while since you caught a stream been busy with work my own projects and such yeah welcome you're in uh, France if I remember correctly The mainland French, as opposed to the island French. do it to honor the fallen I think building my models such as my would honor what they did Painting, playing with soldiers is fun man why do anything else pretty much pretty much I'm a pacifist in my day-to-day -day activities I'm a I'm a warmonger when we're rolling dice but just when we're rolling dice 
people in the real world should take after us, right? This is how you do it. You found one. One of these days you'll get it right. Oh, that's right. Oh, sorry. Francie. Well, there's an F in both of them. <laughs> You're over there next to the French part of uh, Canada. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got to take notes. Well, you don't come in very often. It's your own doing. <laughs> oh, man. We welcome people from all parts of the world. You don't get to pick where you're hatched. Ah, there he is. There is one of those. Uh, have to go back and hand paint the markings from my early war tanks. Try to use decals for six, but the decals are horribly small. Horridly small. Yeah, you got to be nearsighted as hell like me, probably, to deal with it. Uh, let's see. How do we flush this guy down the toilet? And I'm talking about this interloper. Why did they come here? All right. Leave us alone. <laughs> we don't want whatever we don't want whatever it is that you're selling. I, I don't understand spam. I don't understand people that make viruses. I, you know, just go out and get a real job, dude. Just leave us alone. That's some kid that knocked on my door a week ago when I was helping my daughter study. And uh, he wanted to set up solar panels or something like that. I'm like, uh, I'm not interested. And just so you know, there's no soliciting in this neighborhood. So if you go knock on somebody else's door, you may get somebody that's going to be really nasty to you. Basically, my nice way of telling him, get the hell out of this neighborhood. And I'm sure he didn't listen. Go get a real job, man. That's not a real job. Nobody wants to be bothered with knocking people on people's door. You know, your home is a place you get away from. Your safe zone to get away from all the other people. You have to move to France now. My bad. Well, there's worse places to live. They must be fans of your channel, Tony. Yeah. I think they just... I don't know what it is. They must They must have some kind of a system where every time that they post something, they must get a one-hundredth of a cent or something like that. And they're bots that randomly generate names. I remember... I remember probably 15 years ago, we'd get emails that... I didn't get any personally, but at work, we'd get all kinds of emails at work just selling random random emails. And, and the interesting thing about it is they would come from randomly named people. And what I mean by that is, is they would have a surname, they have a first name and a surname, and they weren't necessarily in the correct order. For example, I could get a spam email selling some random thing, and it would come from McGillicuddy Sylvester. In other words, McGillicuddy was his first name, and Sylvester was the last name. And just two things that didn't go you know, did match up to each other, you know. Um, uh, and it was just like, who's going to even believe that, that this is a real email, regardless of what product you're trying to sell there? So they must be some kind of sales weasel that have some kind of a system that um, they get compensated. I don't know, a, a one cent for every thousand emails they send out or something like that. And they've created some kind of a bot program. That, I don't know exactly how it works, but that pretty much stopped. That was like 15 years ago. But I always, always remember if, you know, you would have some kind of a... I was going to write the names of these made-up individuals that were emailing you. Uh, and it was always a, a, random, a random surname and a random first name that would get sent to you. And it could be in like in the wrong order. So, you know... Uh, Anyhow, uh, that was, I think that pretty much stopped, but go get a real job, man. Stop being a menace to society. Don't you realize everybody you come in contact hates you? <laughs> go get a real job. 
every person you interact with goes, oh, when you show up on the scene, you need to do something else, dude. <laughs> you need to do something else. Pick the muzzle of this guy, of the horsey. That somebody said today, they were hauling ass. They are. It looks like this is just... Uh, Coming around a corner really fast. Hope this guy's holding on to the reins or. He's gonna be an airborne ranger. Okay, so this guy's done now too. So where does that leave us? I think I need to do some touch up on Dracula and then all three of them are done. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get to see if we can get a close up here. Oh, it's actually not that, or it's this way how they're going to be stacked. It's like putting the flag towards the middle. It helps protect it a little bit. All right, let's get our little machine here to do a zoom in, and then we'll pan it over here. Oh, wrong way. Of course it's the wrong way. Yeah, so this is the flag bearer here. And Vlad Dracul. Great, now you have the scene in my head from the Breakfast Club with Judd Nelson running around seeing Airborne Ranger. You're welcome. I've only seen that movie one time, and uh, I don't remember that. Of course, I saw it when I was 15, so, you know. Uh, it doesn't look that washed out. Somehow they, they look washed out in the, in the picture. And the other side, the other side's not as exciting. Oh, I do need to do the back side of the shields of this guy here. You ready for me? Okay. I'll be off in five. Okay. Anyhow, that's how these guys are going to stack up. I wanted to make sure that this guy, oh, got to be on the screen. Doesn't work if you're not on the screen. Let's zoom out a little bit. I needed to make sure that this guy was not too much fancier than the other guys. Well, mainly the shield. So, um, we got to go to the gym as a family. That's what we're going to go do. And, uh, don't want to do that too late. So, anyhow, thanks for stopping by, folks. We'll do a little bit of touch up on Dracula and, uh, we'll spray him the night with a gloss coat. And, you know, I have it on DVD so I could break it out and watch it. They look pretty good. Yeah, the, um, but anyways, thanks for stopping by, folks, and, uh, oh, there he is, Rick, Rick the Lurker. You're not the one putting all that spam stuff, right? <laughs> of course not. Um, anyway, so these guys are basically complete. Um, we have to do, like, the hooves on Dracula's horse, and, uh, I think that's about it, because we're not putting socks on his. I want to keep him very dark, and, um... You know, we've got the flags. We'll print out the flags tomorrow. And uh, Dracula will have that flag there. It's on the bottom right, the dragon flag. Um, and um, the other one above it was the Moldavians. So that's what we'll do next. We're going to be doing the stands for the, the figures for the three, uh, the nightstand for the Moldavians, these guys right here. They'll be next. And then we'll do the impaled camp. Um, we will do, where is she? Castle Bran. A little BUA. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Castle Bran coming through. Okay. We're going to, it's, we're going to put this on kind of a little hill. Yes, it's not the scale, but, uh, we'll do that. And then time for some Polish allies. So. That's what the plan is. So, to be continued very shortly. Um, until next time.
Thanks for stopping by, as always. I'd tell you to subscribe, but you guys are already subscribed. Otherwise, you wouldn't have known I was online. So, um, thanks for coming by, as always. Good conversation. Everybody stay safe. And uh, Putin may be saying that about Moldova. I don't know. I'm not going to listen to it. Can, can we just... Can we not have short people in command of things anymore? I mean, what good thing has ever come by short people being in charge? Just saying. Anyhow. <laughs> Until 